Central Florida faces an uncertain future with major changes underway in the U.S. space program that focused world attention on this beach resort area for more than half a century. And one man who knows NASA well is Murphy Wardman. He worked for General Dynamics for 37 years developing some of the heavy lift rockets that took the first U.S. astronauts into space and eventually to the moon. He's worried about what comes next. And I've got one son-in-law that's just been laid off. I got another son-in-law that's going to be laid off. I got a daughter that's going to be laid off. Wardman is one of several retired space engineers who volunteer at the Space Walk of Fame Museum in Titusville across the Indian River from the Kennedy Space Center's iconic vehicle assembly building. The monument to what used to be. The monument to what, how America used to be. Wardman says he thinks the U.S. space program took a wrong turn back in the early 1970s when it turned away from further development of deep space missions. We're already on the moon. We already had the capability. Today, we can't get anything anywhere. Wardman and other former space workers supported NASA's Constellation program that planned to establish bases on the moon to carry out a mission to Mars. But President Barack Obama canceled that program last year in favor of a decades-long plan that envisions trips to an asteroid and to Mars. Wardman does not think that will ever happen. The Constellation program was our best hope, and it got canceled. Plans now call for private companies to develop space exploration vehicles. William Gerstenmeyer is NASA's Associate Administrator for Space Operations. So say mid-2015, 2016, we could potentially see Americans again launching here from the Kennedy Space Center. The gap in U.S. space transportation bothers former astronaut Franklin Chang Diaz, who flew on seven shuttle missions. We did not have the foresight to uh, really develop something, uh, some alternative, and think about the technology that needed to be developed, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 years before this happened. Chang Diaz heads the Ad Astra rocket company in Houston. He's developing a plasma rocket for use in space. He's excited about NASA's long-term deep space projects. You close a chapter in order to open a new one, and we look to the new one to be even better. Murphy Wardman hopes that's the case, but he remains doubtful. I got a bunch of grandkids, and I keep them all fired up over the space program, but I don't know where they're going to go. I really don't know what we're going to do. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Titusville, Florida.